This lesson is about related terms in algebra, and we're going to illustrate and differentiate the following. Algebraic expressions, variables, constants, and the numerical and literal coefficients. So let us start by defining what is an algebraic expression. It is said that these are the combinations of variables, numbers, and at least one arithmetic operation. Now, what are those arithmetic operations? We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let us start by giving examples of an algebraic expression. Say we have the sum of 3a and 2. Well, this can be written as 3a plus 2. As you observe, this is an example of an algebraic expression because it is a combination of numbers and variables and an arithmetic operation which is addition in here. However, there is also an arithmetic operation in here which is multiplication because this means the product of 3 and A. Another, the product of 7 and B, which can be written as 7B. Again, this is an example of an algebraic expression because it is a combination of a number and a variable. And the present operation in here is multiplication. Next, twice a number C decreased by 1, which can be written as 2C minus 1. Again, it is a combination of numbers and variables. And the present operation in here is subtraction and in here there is a multiplication. Next, the cube of y divided by 9, which can be written as y cubed over 9. And again, this is an example of an algebraic expression because it is, again, a combination of number and variable. And the present operation in here is division. So let us now define a variable. A variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown number. So, let us have this as our example. Let us identify the variables. For number 1, 3a plus 2. From the given definition, again, it is a letter or a symbol that represents an unknown value, which means that the variable in here is a. Another, 7b minus 4c. So the variables in here will be b and c. b and c. Another, 6xyz. So what could be the variables? That's correct. The variables will be x, y, and z. And for the last one, say we have m cubed over 9. Now, what could be the variable? That's correct. The variable will be m. It's very easy, right? So, let us now identify what is a constant. A constant is a term in algebraic expression that has a fixed value or no variable. So let us have this as our example. From the given direction, we need to identify the constant. Say we have 3a plus 2. Again, it has a fixed value or it has no variable. In here, 3a, there is an unknown value, which means this is not fixed. And therefore, this means that 2 is the constant. Another, 7b minus 4c minus 8. 
Now, what could be the constant? Again, it must have a fixed value or no variable. That's correct. And the answer is negative 8. Another, x squared plus 4. Now, what could be the constant? That's correct. The answer is 4. And for the last one, 5p minus 2q. Now, what could be the constant? That's correct. None. Because there is no constant in this algebraic expression. Because there are variables in here which are unknown value. Which means this Two terms are not fixed. Next, let's identify numerical coefficient. A numerical coefficient is a number beside a letter or a variable in an algebraic term. While literal coefficient is a letter or a variable used to represent a number in algebraic expression. So, let us have this as our example. We will identify the numerical and the literal coefficient for number 1, 3a. The numerical coefficient will be 3 and the literal coefficient will be a. It's very easy, right? You just need to identify the number and the letter. The number will be the numerical coefficient and the letter will be the literal coefficient. For number 2, B minus 4C. Well, I think your answer is just 4. However, in here we have B. This means that there is 1. It is not 0B. It is 1B, but since that is 1, we don't need to write 1. Which means the numerical coefficient in here are 1 and negative 4. And the literal coefficient will be B and C. For number 3, 3x squared plus 8y. The numerical coefficient in here will be 3 and 8. And the literal coefficient will be x and y. And for the last one, for number 4, we have 5p minus q plus 7. So we have here 5 and then negative 1. And then the literal coefficient will be p and q. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.